'yan, tas na energy. <laughs> 41 days to go. 41 nga ba? Well, tinanghan natin dito sa ano script natin kung ilang araw na lang bago magpasko. Well, it is 40 days, people, before Christmas. Are we all ready? Have we bought the things that should be bought for our loved ones? Well, nakapag-umpisa na ako. Meron ako mga naiisip. How about you guys? But anyway... Well, let's do this. Let's do the countdown because here's the countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. We're giving you the top 10 local and international. And we're starting off with this on the countdown. All right. We do have a news from Paramount Plus. It is the 1923 trailer. And it's the trailer of Yellowstone Limited Series. Spear series spinoff. It starts Harris. It stars Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren, two award-winning stars portray as Jacob and Cara Dalton as they face the pandemic, drought, and Great Depression in the early 20th century. Joining Harrison and Helen, the series are Brandon Sklenner, Darren Mann, Brian Garanti, Michelle Randolph, and so much more. It's going to be at the Paramount Plus streaming platform. Let's see if. We do that have that here, but we do know Lionsgate is here with PLPD. I'm going to keep you posted on that one. Chris Hemsworth, it seems like he's very interested in this sort of thing. Uh, National Geographic-esque documentaries. And honestly, I've seen it before. A flight from Australia to Manila. He did one about sharks. He was very effective. I was listening to him, especially in the top list. I mean, kidding aside, tinan mo na pa-alarm na tulong. Kidding aside, maganda yung ano niya, explanation niya sa mga bagay-bagay. Magaling din yung team niya. So, eto na. It's the true Chris Hemsworth that we will be seeing as well in the new series of Disney Plus from National Geographic. The Limitless with Chris Hemsworth and the Thor actor undergoes extraordinary challenges designed by experts to understand the limit of the human body. He is a perfect example because we see, it seems like he can do it. So in one episode, Chris tries down ground proofing where his hands and feet are tiled while completing a series of underwater tasks. The show will premiere Disney Plus and will be available soon, aka November 17 in the Philippines. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor wedding. I'm talking about Taylor a lot. They're marrying Taylor Dome. <laughs> Taylor Dome is now Mrs. Taylor a lot. They're literally, they share the same name. The Twilight actor and nurse got married near Paso Robles, California after four years of dating. <laughs> He chose the simple life. Congratulations. Another Taylor on the countdown coming right up on number seven. <laughs> Well, expected. Taylor Swift won big at the MTV Europe Music Awards. Yup, Taylor Swift emerged as the big winner in the recent MTV Europe Music Awards where she won four awards. These are Best Video Artist, Best Pop Artist, and Long Form Video. Taylor personally appeared during the awards night to accept her trophies. Her current album, Midnight, is breaking records since its release. It's good that she's very visual and very much present in all her endeavors. Well, the fans deserve it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dua Lipa has a reason why she turned down the FIFA World Cup performance, even if, if it's based a million dollars. After some big stars were revealed to be performing in Qatar, well, Dua Lipa is the first one to turn down the invitation. The pop star denied news and rumors of her involvement in the event. She called out Qatar to address its human rights issues. She said she looks forward to visiting Qatar when it has fulfilled all the human rights pledges it made when it won the right to host the World Cup. FIFA organizers have been scrutinized for their decision to allow Qatar to host the World Cup after reports and deaths of migrant workers during constructions of the stadium were in place. Earlier, it's been announced that BDS member Jungkook will be performing in the World Cup in Qatar. Let's see. Okay, so one artist spoke up. Let's see how the management of the other acts would go through it or the, the artists themselves, if they will push through with the performance. But for now, we are halfway on the show. Congratulations to Judy and Luna. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
also guys we will have a trade launch for tv5 soon do stand by for that hello to the advertisers watching and listening to us right now you can get in touch with us we're really easy i do have my social this mj we're for we all across with the blue check of course so anyway, we're halfway on the show. It's 4.45 p.m. on One News or the replays on One PH and 92.3 News FM. We do have it on Facebook. We do have One News PH. Also, I'm doing some stint in Mega Entertainment, guys. So stand by and stay tuned for that. Kygo releases new album, The Thrill of Chase. Just think fan of Kygo, honestly. Uh, he is really on my playlist. So the global superstar producer, DJ, has a brand new album, and I think that is what I'm going to listen to tonight. <laughs> the acclaimed artist's full-length body of work since his 2020 release, Golden Hour. Now, The Thrill of Chase is a collection of songs that trace Kaigo's career over the past few years. All right, check it out on all streaming platforms. <laughs> Good boy is coming to Manila. <laughs> to meet fans in Manila. The Korean actor will be having his fan meet in January at the Mall of Asia Arena. He is known to be the good boy in Start Up as well as the well-loved series Hometown Ta Ta Ta. See you soon, good boy. I love it. He, it seems like he's past the issues already from uh, the lockdowns, really. We do know about the girlfriend, right? So anyway, yeah. <laughs> TV5 donates a million pesos for Alaga Kapatid Foundation beneficiaries nationwide. I was there. Yes, yeah, Signal TV5 and President Robert B. Galang donated a check worth 1 million pesos to Alaga Kapatid Foundation's Menchi Silvestre, of course. And it's going to be for the beneficiaries of AKFI across the country. We would like to take part in spreading love this Christmas season. Just visit the socials of Alaga Kapatid Foundation. To learn more about how we could give uh, sa lahat po ng mga organizations na natulungan natin, I think Alaga Kapatid Foundation is one of the top tier that alam ko sobrang bonggay na pupuntahan. So yun siya. The collab we didn't expect but we need. It's Ole Salong and Pentatonic spreading the holiday cheer. The American pop group Pentatonic light up the holidays with the release of the sixth album via RCA Records. The a cappella ensemble brings their global vision back to life as they collaborate with some of the biggest pop stars and idols from different parts of the world. Right now, the song is currently making rounds on social mainstream radio and streaming platforms thanks to its cross over its sensibilities and gift of familiarity. So, yes, do stand by for Leia and Pentatonics. Hey, it's Pentatonics, and our new holiday album, Holidays Around the World, is available everywhere now. Woo! Woo! Another LSS moment. <laughs> our top story, we're talking about the Christmas Station ID jingle. It's another LSS moment for us, Kapatid and TV5, as we re released the lyric video for the Christmas Station ID. The award-winning and trending singers collaborated for the this, including Gian McDonald, Mao Marceo, John Nieto, Miguel Mendoza, Pau Chavez, Kenneth Dingle, Arms Cruz, Jelly Mateo, Raymond Sahor, Steph Lazaro, and Mike. It is composed by Jumbo De Leon and Michael Conchada of Lip Music, and I'm talking to them. Ang ilaw ng mga parol tang law sa salo salo. Hati tapat sa sukla, hindi ka na magisa. May liwanag na sa salubong sa umaga.
guys. It's 40 days to go before Christmas. Before we end, we do have a reminder for everybody to continue ensuring we're all safe from COVID-19. Mask if you must. Stay safe from social and be socially distant from maraming tao. I'm MJ Warfori. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow for 45 p.m. One News. We have replays on 1PH and Radio 5, 9243, News FM. I love you guys. Ta-da!